In this video, we'll be showing how to mix, add presets, and use effects here in BandLab. Let's go. If you're brand new to BandLab, check out the previous videos linked down in the description where we show you how to get started and get recording with BandLab. This video is going to be in five sections where we look at the interface, the mixer, the presets, the effects, and auto pitch. So if you wanna to jump to a particular section, check out the links down in the description. Let's start with the interface. Now to move around, the scroll wheel on your mouse is probably the easiest way to do this. You can scroll up and scroll down. You can also hold down the control key to zoom out and zoom in of your project and if you use shift and your scroll button you can even scroll to the left and the right. It's also a good idea to name your tracks. You can click right here in the title and highlight and rename to whatever you like. Another handy feature is changing the track color. So if we want to do that we click on the three dots here the ellipsis and click a different color and you can color coordinate your tracks. When you start playing back your track and mixing another cool thing is to use the cycle button here to set a cycle range. So in this case we can grab the handle of this red section and put this to the start and the finish of where we want our track to play and now every time we play our track it will just play that section. An important button to be familiar with is the save button. So as you're making changes, make sure you're regularly hitting save up in the top right corner to make sure that those great changes you've made are saved in. You may also notice that saving can reset your range. So you may need to just change your cycle range again after you save your track. Let's talk about the mixer. So you'll notice on the left side here, you've got the ability to adjust the volume of your track by dragging your volume slider to the left or to the right, it'll tell you the level that it's at. And if you wanna go back to zero, simply double click and you'll be back at zero. Panning works in much the same way. So if we wanna pan this to the left, we can grab this and drag down and put it all the way over to the left, or we can go all the way over to the right or any point in the stereo spectrum between those two. To go back to center, we simply double tap and we're back to the center. We can also solo or mute out tracks. So if we don't wanna hear these guitars, for instance, we can hit these M buttons and you can mute as many different tracks as you like. To unmute, you tap those again. Or if you want to solo, say I wanted to listen to just these two guitars, we can hit the solo buttons here. And now if we hit play, we're only hearing those guitars. And just to show you the panning, one of the cool things you might want to do with panning is pan your guitars left and right. So if we pan this rhythm guitar to the left and the lead to the right, we can get a cool stereo guitar sound like this. Last but certainly not least in this section is your master volume fader. So here in BandLab, your master fader is up the top here and you do want to make sure that your volume isn't too loud or in fact too soft. So you'll notice here that I've dropped this down to about four and a half dB because before it was getting into the red here and that can clip your signal and sound pretty bad. So we'll drop it down there. Just have a look at that master fader as we play the track. So what you want there is for that to sit somewhere in the 50 to 75% range. If you turn it up and you're starting to clip and peak, you're going to get little red dots here. And that means that your overall volume is too loud. Turn it down here, or of course, drop the volume of each of your individual tracks if you want to reduce it. Next up, let's look at our effect presets. There are two ways to add these. We can either click the ellipsis here, drag down to preset, and you can scroll through and select any preset you like there. The other way is to hit the effects button at the bottom here, and there's your preset menu right there. We can add whatever preset we want. For this one, why don't we just make this this high and bright on this, and what you'll notice is that it changes all of the different effects that it adds here, which we can now go ahead and tweak and adjust. Let's solo this vocal track that we've just added this preset to and hit play. I see the magic in your eyes. Sounds pretty good, yeah. Not a bad preset for this vocal. To adjust the effects added in a preset, we can actually just change any of these knobs here. So say we wanted a higher ratio on the compressor, we want a little bit more of this space maker reverb, we can change those there. And you'll notice over here on the left, it's now saying it's custom. If we want to save this preset to use in the future, we can hit the save as button here and we can name it here. So we'll just call this Pete John's reverb and uh, hit create. And there you go. That is now saved 
plugin, we can use that in future projects. To load a previously saved preset, we simply hit the drop down arrow here and up the top, we can go to my preset. So if we wanted to grab a different one, we can hit on that one. And now this is this different sound that I set for another track. And if we hit play on this, I see the magic. A very different sound. We probably want to go back to the one that we just saved there. To rename our preset, we just hit this little edit button here and we can change the name. So if instead of Pete Johns, I just wanted this to be PJ, we can do that and hit rename. And finally, to delete a preset, we just hit the delete button there. It'll ask you to confirm, hit the OK button, and that preset is gone for good. Now, presets are awesome, but the cool thing here in BandLab is that we can actually customize the effects that we add. So why don't we remove these and start from scratch and show you how we can add our our own selection of effects here in BandLab. First up, let's delete these effects that were added by the preset. So we'll just hit the X button in the corner here of each of these and we're back to a completely blank slate for this vocal. To add an effect, we click on the effects window down the bottom here and you'll notice that we've got the add effect button. We can click on that one and now we've got access to the 40 effects across eight different categories that we can use here in BandLab. You'll also notice that we've got these recommended effects at the very top here. So let's add say an EQ to start here. Yeah, we've got our low, our medium, and our high gain here, and we've got a mid sweep here. So if we wanted to say enhance the high frequencies and maybe reduce the low frequencies of this vocal, we can play around with this. Let's hit play on this and do some adjusting here on the EQ. I see the magic in your eyes. So that is our first effect. To add a second effect, we simply hit the add effect button again. This time we want something that's gonna be a bit of a delay sound. So we'll hit delay, let's grab this digital delay. So we'll tap on that one. And again, it'll give us some default settings here, but we can change this to whatever we want. Let's hit play again and play around again. I see the magic in your eyes. So a cool sound, but I think you'll notice there that the time there is a little bit too much. So we can adjust this by bringing this one on back. And then if we play again. I see the magic in your eyes. And we might not want as much of that in there. So we can also change back the feedback here and we can adjust the level. So you can set things to exactly how you want it. You can even reduce the amount there and make it more on the dry side. So we're only getting a little bit of that delay. I see the magic in your eyes. Let's add another effect here by hitting the add effect button. And as well as just selecting them, we can also search. So say we wanted some reverb on here. We can just type in the word reverb and here you go. We've got a bunch of options here. Let's grab the studio reverb and there you go. We can start adjusting and adding a little bit of reverb into this vocal. I see the magic in your eyes. We can turn off individual effects by using the power button here. So say we don't want this delay anymore, we can turn that one off and take a listen to what it's like without that delay. I see the magic in your... Another thing we can do is adjust the order of the effects. So if we just tap and hold on any of these, we can actually move them to any place here. And this will actually affect what order the effects are processed in. So if you want the reverb before the EQ and then before the delay, we can actually change the order by dragging those to the left and the right. And you can also combine presets and your own selected effects. So let's grab this lead guitar. You can see it's already got the stereo chorus on here and it's got four effects on there already, but we can add a fifth effect here if we want something else. So we'll just remove that search there and say we wanted to just add a little bit of modulation at the end of here. Let's throw a core, a uh, auto wah on here. We can now add that to the end of this or again we can move that and change where it sits in our overall plugin mix. The last function we're going to look at is auto pitch which is the auto tune or melodyne type function here in BandLab. To enable this first select an audio track and down the bottom here next to the effects you'll notice there's auto pitch. To turn it on we simply hit this slider and there you go you can see it's on or hit the enable button to turn it on the controls here are very simple you've got this dial here that you can go anywhere from zero the lightest through 50% here which is like a medium setting all the way around to the heaviest if you want to t-paint it up with your auto tune so let's start with this down a bit low and take a listen to what it's going to sound like on this backing vocal track oh, oh, oh. 
Not bad, right? It's just correcting some of those notes. Now you'll notice here that we've got an option here to either be all notes, or we can be in the project key, or you can select any other key signature you like. So the project key will take the key signature from the top here, which is probably what we want. It means that just notes in the scale of G major are the ones that it'll tune to. If you want it to be all notes, just hit the all notes button there. Let's turn this up to a medium sound now and see what it's gonna sound like. Not bad, quite useful there. All right, you know what we want to do now. We want to turn it up to 100% and go all in on this one. So if you want to use your auto-tune more as an effect, as opposed to just helping out your pitch, you can do something like this. And as you can hear there, you get those warbly kind of auto-tune effects. So it's a handy function here. For most sorts of music, you won't want to use it at the heaviest. But if you're just finding you're missing a note or two, dialing in 10 to 15% of auto pitch can certainly help you out. There you go. Everything you wanted to know about mixing, using presets, effects, and navigating around the mix editor window here in BandLab. Check out the other BandLab videos linked down in the description, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.